Hey, how's it going? So yes, I am moving. Some of this footage is gonna overlap if you've been watching any of the live streams at all, but I've just been grabbing my phone, this camera, random stuff, filming little clips here and there. So I just kind of stitched those all together into a video to kind of show you guys the progress of what's going on. And I can throw this together like in an hour or less. And I figure I can at least get a video up without uh, detracting from the amount of time I need to be spending working and packing. I don't usually say things like this, but to the people that are not aware of all my previous explanations, yes, I have a lot of stuff. Yes, I have a lot of wheelchairs. If you're gonna say something dumb in the comments about that, you're gonna get deleted and blocked. I'm just gonna say that up front. I don't normally like doing that, but if you don't understand why all this stuff's here, and I, I don't explain about a lot of the stuff I have, but just deal with it. Yes, life could be simpler without things, but there's a lot of stuff that, well, it's hard to explain, and also it's none of your business. <laughs> so, on that super upbeat, happy note, let's jump into the last few days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, the audio levels, I have done a, done a preliminary adjustment on them, but just fair warning, some of the clips may be quieter and louder than others. That is usually the part that I spend more time on the audio than I do actually editing the video. So just fair warning, the audio levels may be a little bit screwy on this one. I just, I'm trying to get stuff done, but I also wanted to upload a video. So anyways, there you go. Well, I found a place to go. I don't know how, somehow miraculously a house came up and I went and looked at it. It's been about a week going through the process and I signed the lease yesterday. So yeah, that's uh, not a very common thing. It's a house that's going to be plenty accessible for me, lots of space and everything. So now um, I get to start packing stuff. It, it sucks. I just got everything set up the way I wanted it. Like, I've got my editing station over here with the monitor on the wall. My main workstation here, you know, that I was using for streaming and, you know, some other work stuff. Um, that's obviously up there. We've got the electronic whiteboard. Tomorrow, the current owner is coming to do an inspection. Originally, he had said that wasn't going to happen, and he was just offering me, you know, money and some other stuff. But it makes sense. He wants to come look through the place. Some other aspects of the story seem to have changed a little bit, so I'm hoping that he's going to honor the original plan that we spoke about, because I made plans based on what he told me. So, um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is get stuff unmounted from the walls here. Um, I'm going to get the whiteboard down, get that monitor down, one in there. There's a TV on the wall in the bathroom. And I think just kind of go through and fix anything that may catch the eye. I've got some sheet rocks back while I'm gonna fill in those holes where the TV mounts and stuff are. And hopefully they just buzz through here real quick and say, okay, we're good. I hate moving so much. I'm, I'm happy that I found a place. Unfortunately, where I'm going is not gonna be like a permanent situation. But, I know I can be there for a set number of years and not have to worry about being forced to move suddenly. But yeah, so here it is. There's kind of the last look around with this setup. And back here, this is where all my sign making equipment is. Got the sign machine there, large format printer. All the associated computers to run that. Uh, this computer here, which actually the hard drive in it just died, so I'm gonna have to fix that. That's the machine I use for managing all the video files for the YouTube channel. Unfortunately, these things are glued together. Oh, that screen looks filthy. These things are glued together, so it's gonna be kind of annoying to get that fixed, but. Uh, where I'm going, though, is significantly more space, so that will be nice. I'm rambling at this point. I just need to put down the camera and get to work, and I think the goal for today is to get everything that's attached to the walls removed get the holes filled and spackled over and sanded and be ready for tomorrow when the walkthrough happens. So, at the same time, yes, I am happy, but I'm also very, very annoyed and frustrated. Anytime I move, it basically, it takes me about a month to recover. 
And I'm gonna have to do this in two weeks. I normally always give myself a month when I move because it keeps everything from trying to happen super quick. Oh, neighbors having a yard sale. There was vehicles out there I didn't recognize. But yeah, it keeps things from having to move super quick and I can kind of organize everything. Dishwasher. So doing this in two weeks will be interesting. I've got a game plan though. I'm gonna get a truck and we're gonna get the garage moved with a few friends. We're gonna do that in one day. That won't be a problem. I know the garage looks like it's full of a lot of stuff and it is, but everything out there is already crated up or it's wheelchairs already boxed up. So we can get that all thrown in a truck and get it moved, no problem. I think the majority of the time is gonna be me going through the house and packing everything in a way, because a lot of the stuff doesn't fit in boxes, so packing everything in a way that I don't lose it and I keep track of everything. I have, however, gotten rid of a lot of stuff since I moved in here. And most of the stuff in that room, all those boxes are maybe half full or only a quarter full. So moving will be a good chance to consolidate a lot of that stuff. And there isn't really much garbage left. I've already thrown away all that stuff that was in the storage units and everything. But anyways, again, I'm rambling. I'm going to get to work. I'll be back. So I was trying to figure out if I had anything interesting to say about moving. As some of you may know, I've done it many, many times. Well, I guess there's one thing I can think of. I just spent like $165 on a label maker. But not just any label maker. One that prints really wide labels. And, uh... It'll print in red and black. Mostly the reason I got this one is none of the other ones were in stock that would do the larger labels. And I need to label all these things. I do have a lot of stuff. At least the, the things that are in the house, I, uh, I need to keep track of. And I kind of do everything on a time-based system, like how recently I've seen things. So everything in the house, obviously, I use on a daily basis. This other bedroom over here that I'm using for storage, that's sort of like medium. I'll use stuff in there maybe once a week, every month, something like that. And then the garage is cold storage up on those racks, the ones that I can't even get to. So everything in the house, we're going to be putting in these bins, and I need to... Well, the way I know where everything is is based on location. I guess that makes sense. It sounded different in my head. Anyways, for example, everything that was up here, I scraped into a bin, and I'm going to label that window shelves, I guess, or something like that. So if my muscle memory says, oh, I was going to go grab that, it's over here, I just look for the bin that says that. Same with this desk. It'll get its own bin as well as the drawer and this little uh, credenza thing, whatever over there, that's all in its own box. But it's very important to label it because we're using all these crates that look exactly the same. Anyways, I'm trying to justify blowing a bunch of money on a thing. It'll do shipping labels and everything too, so I told myself that once I get the web store actually up and running... Oh, look at these little baby spools it came with. Again, I spent $40 on this refill. Typically, this is the thing you can get on Amazon. You can get three times as much for about 15 bucks. But nothing was in stock. I've been trying to use masking tape and write stuff, and it's just... I'm full of excuses. But anyways, I'm going to get this set up. Oh! I'm getting the keys tonight to the new house. My head's still spinning like crazy. <laughs> uh, the one saving factor is it's not going to take any effort to move everything into that house. Because we're going from 1,300 square feet to a little over 2,000. The garage might take a little bit of uh, configuration because it's smaller, but I can just shovel everything in there and I'm, I'm confident I can be out of this place in 14 days. Anyways, I grabbed some food. I'm going to eat that. We're going to get this thing set up and... Wait, let's do some math here. So there's 300 labels. How much was this? $40? What's 40 divided by 300? 40 divided by 300 is approximately 0.1333. I guess 13 cents a label isn't that bad. I would rather get it down into the single digit pennies though. Alright, I'll be back. 
Wow, that's fast. There we go. All these labels are huge. Okay, well, we got 300 of them. I think that should get us through what we need to do. Uh, <laughs> sweet. Well, making some progress with the move. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm picking up a trailer and then I've got some help coming. It's slow going though. I think I've done six trips myself right now. Not the most amount of stuff in the world, but at least making a dent. Mmm, traffic. All right, we're in the white van. I drove out here to the east side to this little uh, battery recycling place and uh, got a battery for this van. I thought both of them were bad, but the main one, uh, they tested it and said it was fine. So uh, traded in the one that was in here and one additional battery I had, and it was 35 bucks for a one-year warranty on a deep cycle battery. So yeah, we're good. Um, it's an interesting part of town for sure. They, uh, they actually checked my ID for my debit card. That's something that doesn't happen very often these days. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the house and start loading up some stuff. All right, so I'm gonna email you a copy of the contract, but I'm also gonna print one out and just highlight some important information for you. All right. Thanks. Normally, I don't necessarily care about when I come into a place and they don't have the, um, the lower counter for wheelchair users available. But at this place, they have these little racks of stuff between every single like checkout stand or whatever and they have this carpet on the floor and it's the kind of carpet that will 100% bunch up and get caught under my chair so the guy walked back and forth which was nice but yeah I went ahead and took some photos and I don't know if you all is active on social media but I tagged him on Twitter and sent him the photos and I was like hey uh people need to use these spaces <laughs> we'll see if they reply but um yeah also the door coming out of this place it doesn't look like it's that close but this space right here between the stairs and where you go in, like, I'm in, I'm in the, the little tiny C300 right now. I had to be careful with that. I almost, um, I was within an inch of a tire going over the edge when I turned in there. But, yeah, I mean, we, we got it done. Well, I mean, we're about to get the trailer, but, yeah, just things and stuff. Uh, when you open the back door, you want to make sure that you rotate the latch all the way to the open position before you open it. Okay, is it a roll-up? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, if you leave the hook down, um, it's spring-loaded and the door will shoot open, and the hook can get stuck at the top of the door so you okay. won't be able to close it. Alright, cool. So either please open it real slow, or make sure the hook is not down okay. when, you, when you open it. He called me Speedy Gonzalez because I get into the van really quick. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard that one before. See, I'd have to sell you one of these. You want to put it on the card that you have on file? Um, I was hoping somebody left one behind, but I couldn't find one. Can't we just comp that? Uh, the manager here won't allow that. He considered it a theft. Uh, it causes lost revenue because people don't return them. Well, here's the thing. Um, you guys are supposed to have that disabled counter open in there, but it's like a storage area for everything. Sure. And there's a bunch of stuff in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I understand he's trying to, like, follow the rules and stuff. But I just... I mean, I know you're just doing your job and everything, but I kind of find it kind of offensive when they can't be bothered to follow basic ADA laws. Right, right, right. And then, um, you know, I get told, oh, well, you know, you may not bring it back or whatever, so that might be theft. Um, it just kind of seems like it should I be a two-way street, you know. I'll help you out today. I used to manage a store, and I'd lend these out. Okay, I will bring it back. Time, people just don't bring them back. No, and I understand that. I'll definitely bring it back. So, 
Okay, we're good, man. I'm, I'll uh, talk to him about that so we can get, get that cleared up. Okay. That's uh, still lingering from the stupid social distancing uh, setup. We had to put six feet and everything. And I know, everything's weird right now, so it's just, yeah, I get it. I, I appreciate it. want to make sure your know, business is accessible for you and everything. So. Yeah, exactly. Here you go, brother. Uh, if you want to keep the package, you just throw that back in there when you give it back. Yeah, and what's your name? I'll uh, make sure when I bring it back that they know we get this back to you or whatever. Cool. I'll put a re return note on there so they know as well. Okay, cool. I, I get in trouble when I do that, but I'm kind of like the golden boy, so it doesn't matter. All right, well, I appreciate it, man. Um, if you want to, uh, we'll do the lights, and then you'll be all set. So we can do okay. left turn, right turn, and uh, brake lights. Okay. Again, I'm not a fan of playing the cripple card to get my way, but in this particular circumstance, they wanted to sell me a $20 adapter. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry. If you're going to tell me that you've got to follow the rules, I'm going to hold you to that as well. So we, uh, we got one of the adapters. I'll bring it back, though. Okay, so my house is over here. The neighbor has these weird post things, so it might be tricky to get into the driveway here. Let's see. Just got it backed in, and I realized something. I can't get out of the van. <laughs> um, so I don't understand why they have all these posts and things out here. To move this thing over now is gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, well, maybe we've got space. I just went ahead and pulled those two out of the ground. Um, Sorry, dude, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> All right, there we go. Still got room to get into the white van because I'm gonna be driving that thing while this is hooked up. And yeah, I think we're set. All right, we've got the racks taken apart. And surprisingly, all that stuff only filled the trailer halfway. So yeah, that's a thing. Wait, can I just, there we go. We're just getting all the racking material put on the truck over there now. All right, we've got a trailer, got it full, let's go. So guess what? The power window broke again. It'll only go up that far. Um, awesome. I guess I get to take this apart tonight and figure out what's going on. It's still, it'll still go up and down this far, but apparently a cable skipped or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's always something. By the way, just got back with the trailer. It's unloaded now. All right. Um, getting chairs loaded into this thing. It's a little bit of work, but um, yeah, we've got that little thing left. And then a few random things in here. Uh, I guess there's more than a few. Um, this will probably be more than one trip. I think I can fit like two more of them in there maybe. Um, maybe three. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, ready for another trip. I, uh, I got this thing loaded up. We've got, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chairs in here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Apparently my phone number's written on there. I've got two sets of these folding ramps, and um, we left one set of them over at the house, which is good because I can drag these around and just kind of barely set them up because that trailer is not very high off the ground. But um, there's no way I could even lift this into the trailer. So we've got the other ones over there, so I think we should be good. Uh, yeah, making progress. I've got some help headed over uh, probably about six o'clock tonight. And I think I'm gonna run this over there right now, unload it, and then I'm gonna come back and get all the furniture and stuff ready in here. There isn't really that much furniture, it's just like some end tables, desks, file cabinets, stuff like that. So I'm gonna focus on getting that ready for when the help shows up, and then we can just jam it all in there and make another run tonight. And then tomorrow, got some more help again, and 
hopefully we'll be good. I think tonight we can get the furniture and the uh, the metalworking equipment here, like the air compressor, bandsaw, drill, pet, drill press, and all that stuff. Um, I've taken a couple things to recycling today. There's two chair frames over here I think I'm gonna recycle. I'm gonna pull some parts off of them. I just, uh, I don't, moving these things around is too much work. And there's a little bit less space at the new place for wheelchairs specifically. So I think I said earlier, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more picky about what I hang on to. Oh, I gotta answer this. Fast forward a couple days. Uh, it's a little bit more echoey in here. We've got just a TV on the floor over there and there's just a bunch of crates in here. I actually went and bought some more of those this morning. Yes, my brakes are clicking. Um, I'm working on editing this video right now. But yeah, the, uh, the desks and everything, whiteboard, all that stuff's gone in here. The garage, we got all of the metalworking equipment and most everything out of here. Well, relatively. I, here, I'll just show you. So it's not nearly as full as it used to be. A lot of this stuff is going away, like garbage type stuff. Um, there's a couple of chairs left over there. I still need to recycle a few things. But yeah, we're definitely making progress. I wanted to at least get some video up. This one, like I said, is not polished and all that stuff like normal, but at least you can see the process and I was able to throw this together in like 45 minutes with random clips that I had filmed everywhere. Um, yeah, so anyways, I think we're taking my bed tonight to the new place. So I'm gonna be staying over there now. We've got till, let's see, this is the third right now. So we've got like, some, oh wait, eight more days. So we're coming right along. We're doing pretty good here. Uh, I think I'm gonna call that good for now. I'm gonna finish editing these clips in, uh, upload the video, and uh, we're still set for the live streams on Thursdays, but we'll have another update here soon. This is not quite as painless or painful or it's been, well, it's still annoying, but it's going pretty well. I'll just say that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a few days.